Okay, update video. Um, I did one of these, yeah, before the three Switzerland videos. Um, just talking for ages and rambling on and people seem to enjoy it. Um, it's an opportunity to, yeah, fill you in on my life and uh, share some stories that, and some photos and some videos that otherwise, you know, don't deserve a main video about them. So otherwise will probably never get shared. Um, and people seem to enjoy it when I did it then. So I guess life and the channel have kind of become out of sync. Now we're so late in the year. Um, yeah, happy December, by the way. I um, hope you're looking forward to Christmas or looking forward to the holidays um, and looking forward to seeing your family. Um, I think it's a good time to do another update video. Just like last time, I've got some notes in front of me of like different points that I want to hit while I'm talking to you. So, so as they say on another channel, um, another channel way more famous than mine, let's just jump into it. Um, I'll be putting yeah photos and videos on the screen throughout this video, um, but probably most of it will probably just be me talking. And, you know, last time we had like glorious nature in the background. This time I'm just in a plain white Airbnb room. Um, so if you want to listen to this through headphones while doing the dishes, instead of actually watching it, I won't hold it against you. And firstly, yeah, three Swiss videos. I really, really hope that you enjoyed them. Um, it was really nice seeing your reaction to them. They were <laughs> just <laughs> exhausting to shoot and I had such a good time. They're a really good example of something that is a lot of effort, um, especially to do by yourself. Um, but that is so, so worth it in the end. Um, and yeah, I had a really good time going to those places, saw some amazing views. Yeah, the first and the third ones actually shot in consecutive weekends. And yeah, it was just a lot of effort. It was so exhausting. And I was still tired from, um, from the first weekend by the time the Friday night came and I was going to Italy. And I remember finishing work that day thinking like, I must be the only person who is wishing that the working week was longer. Like I just needed a few more work days to kind of recover and not be exhausted from the previous weekend before going and shooting the next weekend. But yeah, once I was actually on the train or, or once I woke up the next day in Italy, I was, I was ready to go. Italy was just so, so nice, even if nothing went to plan. Um, yeah, it was my second time there. I've actually been to, um, yeah, to Rome and to Florence before. Florence in particular, I, I absolutely loved. Um, and it was, yeah, the same in Como. I really, really enjoyed that. Overall, I'm kind of amazed looking at my channel that I posted three travel videos in 2021. I'm pretty pleased with that. I mean, it was basically the first, like the first weekends that we were out of lockdown that I went and shot those. Um, and I'm, I'm glad I did because it seems like the world is kind of going to hell again, but that's, we'll talk about that another day. After I shot those this summer, I went to the UK for the first time in, yeah, in a year, which just, it felt amazing. Like when we when we left the UK, we were saying to people, oh, we'll, we'll see you later. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Come over for Christmas, um, Christmas 2020. Obviously none of that happened because of, you know, restrictions and, and whatever. Um, so I didn't see any of my friends or family from the UK for a year. And yeah, going back this summer, it was so, so nice. It was everything I, that I kind of wished for especially because there was not many like restrictions at that time. So I've got a few friends who live in London and I was able to spend some time with them. And yeah, even just being back in London brought like so many good memories back to me. It's probably the longest I've gone without like going there since being an adult is this time that I spent in Germany. Um, and yeah, being there, seeing all my friends there again was so much fun. We went to a one day festival called All Points East. Um, I went to the night that had uh, Foles and Bombay Bicycle Club and after not seeing anybody for a year and then to suddenly be in that situation, you know, just in a field watching live music with your best friends. It was honestly like really emotional and I was so, so happy that I got the chance to do that. And obviously it means while I was in the UK, I spent some time on my darling island off the south coast of the UK. And yeah, the Isle of Wight just gets better every time I go back there and I find it harder to leave every time I go back there. Um, again, yeah, so many friends and family who I hadn't seen for ages and it was good weather at that time because I went in the summer um, and I just went on lots and lots of long walks. Now on to the most exciting update or the most exciting announcement. As anybody who follows me on Instagram will know, um, this autumn I had the absolute privilege of spending a month in Norway. The idea was to do a trip, uh, to do a video uh, from Germany to the Northern Lights without flying. Um, and yeah, Northern Lights is something that I'd always wanted to see. I guess it's on a lot of people's bucket lists, um, but I've seen a lot of people online who kind of, like they fly to Iceland for a weekend and then get disappointed um, that, that they can't see it from there. It just in those two days, it's like, it's not enough time and you're basically relying on luck too much. 
So I wanted to try and spend a really long time far up north in Norway, which I... I'm not going to spoil the end of the video, but I did end up spending a lot of time in the Arctic Circle. Um, there's kind of a couple of things in this video that I could spoil, including whether or not I saw the Northern Lights, but I'm just going to leave it for, for when the video comes out. But I will say that the journey itself, um, and I'll put some footage of it now, was like was so spectacular. Um, it was such a privilege, and um, especially to do like a real like a real backpacking trip this year, um, I feel really really lucky. It was weird. Some time just kind of opened up. Um, I hadn't spent any of my holiday at work because obviously I've been in lockdown, so I had a lot of time off work to use, and there was no restrictions on travel in Europe. Everything with you know the situation looked kind of rosy at that point in in early autumn. Um, and yeah, it was a plan I'd had for a long time and I just decided to run with it. I connected all the dots from Hamburg in northern Germany, um, getting the boat briefly uh, from uh, Denmark over to Oslo. And then I rode the train from uh, Oslo over to Bergen, which is like supposed to be one of the most beautiful train rides in the whole world. Um, and I'd heard about it before. That didn't disappoint. But yeah, the highlight um, was I got the fjords cruise all the way from Bergen up to, um, up to Tromsø. And that like, Okay, I know it's cheating because it's kind of a cruise ship and um, using a cruise ship you can connect to like any two dots on the map without flying. Um, but it was just such a good experience. It was the most beautiful scenery. Um, yeah, to pinch myself every day that I was actually there riding through the fjords trying to find the Northern Lights. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't really want to spoil too much about it. Um, I was hoping I would have it out by Christmas. I really wanted to post this on like say December 22nd or 23rd to have like a really kind of cozy cold Christmas video um, but there's just so much footage it's like 10 hours of footage um, so it's more than I actually had for the USA video which took me like six months to release um, and I'm trying to now post this in the next few weeks um, I don't think I'm going to get it done in time for that but yeah, we'll see. And then you'll see all the things that I'm trying not to spoil when that video comes out. One thing that I have now that I didn't have in Norway, although it would have been so good up there, I've got a drone. I've officially joined every other YouTuber in the world from like 2016 onwards. Um, and yeah, begun to invest in gear for the channel. I'm so bad at using it, but it is so much fun. It's way more fun than I thought. Even though I'm not that experienced and I need to, to practice with it a lot more, I was still able to get some shots that, okay, I probably wouldn't use them in a video, but it kind of shows like the potential. Like I didn't have to put in any effort. You just basically push a couple of buttons and you can see, like, yeah, you can see your, your, um, your surroundings from a completely different angle. And I definitely don't want to use it as like a gimmick. There's some YouTubers I like, um, who really integrate it really, really well and in a really artistic and like not a gimmicky way. And I think, yeah, once I've kind of practiced with the technical side of it, then I need to do some vlogs where I have a good reason to actually integrate drone shots um, and come up with some actual good ideas for ways to use it. Because I feel some YouTubers can kind of lean on it and overuse it and it kind of gets old. Speaking of future videos, um, I thought this time that I would actually say some ideas that I have for future videos because I was yeah thinking about talking about the Norway video and it um every single video I make I'm like oh I've always wanted to go here this video now this trip I'm doing now is my number one I've always wanted to do this whereas like I'm aware I've never really announced any of those things so it probably seems quite fake um I like to think I do have a lot of things I want to see and places I want to go and places that I want to show you um, but probably if I start saying that about absolutely everything, it becomes, yeah, kind of transparent. Um, so instead of next time, whatever my next video is after Norway, saying in it, oh, I've always wanted to do this, I wanted to actually give a list of some things that I'd like to hit next year or maybe further in the future so that you know that when that happens, I'm like particularly excited for it. So in 2022, in terms of travel videos, like obviously <laughs> we have to assume here that um, this is like with everything going well with regards to like, you know, everything. Um, but if all does go well, the absolute pinnacle for me for travel videos next year will be the Faroe Islands. 
which is genuinely somewhere that I've wanted to go for a few years now and I would be so, so excited. Um, it is possible to do like a London to um, the Faroe Islands without flying. That's something I'd really, really like to do. I've just seen it in so many pictures and I think it looks really, really unique and it's kind of underrepresented on YouTube. Um, it looks, it's kind of like another Iceland, but like greener and less volcano-y. <laughs> so that's probably my top one. I also have a list of way more places that I want to show you from um, from Germany and Central Europe. Probably will be going back to Switzerland again, but maybe also like Austria and yeah, a few more places in Germany as well. And if everything's going like super well, then I would kind of like to have my first taste of Russia. I've been thinking about, um, and this is one thing I've actually talked about on the channel before, about doing the Trans-Siberian. I've been thinking maybe I'll go like, it would be kind of cool if I had a little like a shorter travel vlog or a shorter like travel experience um, in St. Petersburg first before like going to that country for the first time and doing like the most crazy thing. Um, so if all is like super easy next year, which it probably won't be, yeah, St. Petersburg. I've seen it, yeah, from afar in so many photos and videos and I'd really like to go there if, if it's possible. I have to hedge everything in these days. Also hiking videos, if I was gonna do another Craig copy, I think I would directly rip off uh, one of the trails that he did. I kind of want to do the Tour du Mont Blanc. Um, it's a route that goes all around the base of Mont Blanc in the Alps through um, France, Switzerland and Italy. Every video I've seen from somebody doing it, it looks like a really good time. Um, I would maybe have to um, get some fitness back uh, before I could do that. But that's something, um, if weather's good and restrictions are good and fitness is good, that's something I'd like to do next year as well. The hike that I was previously hyping on my channel, um, I literally had uh, a week off work to do it. I had everything ready, like I'd bought loads of food for it and uh, taken the time off work. I'd made reservations in like different guest houses along the way. That video was literally gonna exist, but that exact week was the week of the flooding in Germany. And uh, I've said in the video before, thankfully we, uh, where we lived, like we weren't affected at all um, and we were totally safe, but it didn't quite feel right, like spending that much time like out in the wilderness in a country that was being kind of destroyed at that time. So I ended up canceling those plans. And yeah, also it, um, there was some places I wanted to go in the Black Forest that uh, were suffering like small landslides and some of the, <clears throat> excuse me, um, some of the footpaths were kind of messed up by it. So it was genuinely affected. Um, and now I've twice planned to do that. I think it's kind of cursed. Um, and also if, you know, life and restrictions are getting easier. I'd kind of like to do something bigger and cooler and maybe Tour du Mont Blanc will replace that. Other videos that I'd like to make next year, I feel like I kind of say this all the time, but I've, I've always kind of wanted to make more frequent vlogs, make more kind of personal vlogs, not just about like, travel life, but life life. Um, and sometimes when I have done a more personal video or been like more vulnerable um, on camera, people have really responded to that well. Um, I just, <laughs> I just don't ever put in the effort to to keep it going, and that's something I'd like to get into more next year. I think once I clear this Norway video out of the way, until Faroe Islands, I probably won't do anything like crazy adventurous, and so maybe I'll have a more kind of frequent and personal channel. No promises because I know how lazy I am. <laughs> oh, and you know, a huge update that I should have thanked you for right at the start of this video. This is a ridiculous milestone. Um, I never thought it would get this out of hand, but thank you. Um, it, it means so much to me, particularly those of you who, who come back to every video and comment and who seem to get something out of every video. Yeah, it, it means the world to me, so thank you. I think we're nearly, okay, we're nearly through the updates. Uh, yeah, right now I'm actually in Berlin. This is my first time visiting here. Uh, it's been really nice actually. I spent a weekend here um, and I got to see my friend who lives here. I actually have an English friend who I know from the UK obviously. <laughs> um, and we both moved to Germany around the same time and I never got to see him because it was just locked down the whole time. Uh, like I said, the world's kind of going that way again. So I'm glad I actually got to see him for the first time in ages while I was in Berlin. I would love to come back here one day and do a full like tourist vlog. It's a really interesting and obviously like so, so historic city and there's, there's you could wear yourself out trying to see it all. Um, so this time I've just been kind of taking it easy, knowing that I will come back and I will shoot a video here another time. I've just been walking through the city, doing nothing, um, basically seeing what I come across. Um, I've walked through uh, the park for ages in the uh, in the autumn leaves until I was like 
this I, I could have this I could be having this experience anywhere like I'm in Berlin I need to get back into the city and I did actually take advantage last night of being in um, a big city because last night I saw a film at a cool like independent cinema um, it was a new Wes Anderson movie I'm not a huge fan of Wes Anderson and this film didn't really change that but I did enjoy seeing it like for what it was I, it was worth kind of seeing and especially the fact that I got to see it in like an interesting independent cinema in Berlin. Um, I'm kind of glad I took the time to do that, even though I don't think I'll bother to watch that movie again. It was uh, French Dispatch by Wes Anderson. So if you're still watching and still listening and still not bored, um, you obviously really like my channel and I, I appreciate that. I wanted to say one more thing at the end, just quickly, um, something I could have put in the title and thumbnail, but would rather have just for like a quiet update for the people who, who, really, uh, who really watch to the end. Um, right now, like I said, I'm in Berlin, uh, we're in December now, so I'll be going home for Christmas, back to the UK for Christmas, which I'm so excited about. I know I moan about um, how long I spent in Germany without visiting the UK, but yeah, after 2020, to know that I'm going to be spending Christmas in the UK this year, I'm really, really grateful for that. After Christmas, I will be coming back to Germany. Um, it, this is the country where I live and I'm enjoying it and I want to make the most of it. Uh, this is the country where I have my job, which I really like and I want to keep. But I will be coming back to Germany to live in a different city by myself. And yeah, that's all I will ever be saying about that. Um, it's even if I wanted to say more, which I really don't. Um, it's like it's two people's privacy here. It's not just my privacy, but also the privacy of someone else. Um, well, I guess it, I will say one thing about it. The only thing I'll say is that nothing bad has happened. You don't have to feel sorry for anybody and ultimately um, we want what's best for each other. And yeah, now that's all I'm ever going to be saying about it. Um, I think that's basically it for what I had to say. Um, I'll say the same as in my last update video. Like, I'm so, so grateful. I don't take this for granted that there's people who want to either watch or listen just to me talking about stuff from my life. I, I really don't take that for granted. So I hope that you have a nice Christmas. Um, last year I posted a video on December the 25th kind of a big headed move actually considering I had zero followers, zero viewers, no interest in my channel at this point but I uploaded a video on Christmas day just to say like I know Christmas is hard this year and lots of us can't see our family so here's a video to like <laughs> to keep you company <laughs> when nobody watched my videos at that point um so yeah the the ego just never stops with me um but I honestly hope it's better for you this year than it was last year um, I know I'm really looking forward to spending time with my friends and my family over Christmas and I hope the same for you. I really hope you have a good one. Now I will go and bury myself in 10 hours of Norway footage. Um, I, I really, really wanted to have a post about Christmas, but I probably won't. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and listening all the way to the end of this really boring rambling. And um, I'll see you really soon. Next time you see me, I'll be freezing cold in the snow.